Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at One Step Change Bludgeon from Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures. Apparently he has Whirlwind Slash, so we'll see how that goes. But pretty cool. I'm thinking that this is kind of the same bludgeon we saw in Transformers Robots in Disguise towards the end of the line. That kind of repaint, remold they did of Megatronus. Because the tank mode looks very similar. And I think Bludgeon did pop up for a couple seconds in one of the Cyberverse episodes. But I feel like he didn't stick around very long. Um, but like I said, the design definitely reminds me of that Megatronus repaint from Robots in Disguise. But in either case... Pretty cool. I always loved Bludgeon's color scheme, so I don't buy a lot of one-step change figures, but I don't know. Something about this guy just kind of spoke to me, so I decided to pick him up. Uh, typical, mostly open packaging, as you can see there. I'm going to go ahead, get him out, and we'll take a closer look. Alright, so here is Bludgeon out of the packaging. And one thing I will say real quickly, um, when you are looking at the packaging, make sure that you cut this part away, because this is where <laughs> the sword was hidden. I almost, did, I almost missed it. I almost threw the packaging out with the sword. So make sure you do not miss out on the sword. It is hidden. Uh, but it's a pretty cool little sword. You know, very basic. But has some nice green paint down here for the hilt. Gray paint for the blade. It actually has a place to store in vehicle mode. It just clips right in there. In between the barrels of the gun. I think that works. I'm just glad it has somewhere to clip in for vehicle mode. Um, otherwise, it doesn't really have any wheels. It would have been nice if it had just some little wheels maybe in this section or something. Let me zoom out a smidge. Uh, but yeah, just, you know, like little wheels in this area just so that it would roll a little bit better. It really doesn't roll at all. Turret does not turn. Uh, no, it almost feels like it could. I mean, it kind of wiggles back and forth, but I don't believe that it turns. But the transformation is pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and take the sword out first. You don't have to, but you just take the treads here and push them in. And there you go. He just kind of snaps together. And there is Bludgeon. He has elbow articulation. And that is all. <laughs> the barrels of the turret are very long, but I think they stick out an appropriate amount up here. Uh, taking a look at the Bludgeon head, though, I think it's a really cool little sculpt. I like that. I like the Decepticon symbol on the chest plate there. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, the legs are just static. I mean, it looks good. And like I said, the color scheme works. And you can go ahead and give him his blade. And the cool thing about this is it has the whirlwind action. So basically what this does, if you take the sword and put it in the other hand, you can pull the arm out like that. And then it becomes kind of loose and it spins. But because you can't really move the arms, you know, much more than like 90 degrees, it either like hits him in the face or hits his other hand or kind of bumps into his leg. So it's not really that great. I mean, it's kind of cool if you just want to do like a pose like this where he just kind of holds a sword. Like you could do like a sword like pose like that. But if you don't want to use it, you can just push the arm in and you don't have to use it. He can just have two normal arms just holding the sword. And you don't have to utilize the goofy functionality. You can put the sword in either hand. You don't have to worry about it falling all over the place. You can just, like, if you want to use it, pull it out. If you don't want to use it, push it back in. It's perfect. So while he doesn't have a ton in articulation, he looks kind of cool. I kind of dig the sword. And I dig the fact that you don't have to use the gimmick if you don't want to. So if you just want a cool little bludgeon to just, like, you know, pop on a shelf or fiddle with, He's kind of cool. I kind of like him. I think aesthetically he looks good. He doesn't really have anything going on in terms of articulation, but aesthetically he looks cool. And if you wanted, I believe you could store this like this. So if you wanted it to look like, I was trying to make it look like he had the sword on his back, but I guess it doesn't really work. But you could certainly store it like this. So if you didn't want him to hold the sword, you could. So yeah. That's pretty much going to do it for Bludgeon, but I think he's pretty cool. When you transform him back, you have to pull these out, and then you have to fold the feet back up. But other than that, he's a cool little Decepticon tank and a decent little one-step changer. So if you're just looking for a fun little tank toy for 10 bucks, I recommend him. I think kids would probably like it because it's very easy to transform back and forth, so... 
nice Decepticon symbol there as well. But yeah, he's a cool little dude. So that's going to do it for this one. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.